Well, let's see here. Come on. Come on. Come in. Come in. Start the streams. Receiving your content. Soon we shall have content. Your audience will see it in a minute. Get ready. Oh crap. Here's the content. Oh my god, it's, it's live. Live streaming. Oh, it's like people can see stuff. Wow. Alright. Cool. We are streaming now live, Space Engineers, right after the release of... Well, one of the most important updates for Space Engineers ever. It's planets. There's gonna be some planets. So let's... Let's just do this thing. Let's just get right in here. Uh, a lot of you people probably think I'm insane, and you're probably right. Easy start, easy start, I don't want an easy start. Star system with three moons, habitable planet. Alright, crashed. Asteroids, I really want a habitable planet, I guess, but I don't know what this is going to start with. Let's uh, see what's going on here. We'll call it the pit, as we do. Say, uh, get in my pit. It will be survival, because fuck you, that's why. Uh, with friends. Gotta have them friends. Uh, Max players 4. Uh, meteor showers. Does that even work on planets? I don't even know. I don't even know. You know what? We're gonna go save for them. Auto save. Uh, sure. Scenario edit mode. Do I want any mods on this? I mean, I own some mods. I own some really interesting mods, but do I want them? Hmm. Let's go well, maybe we'll take the automated inventory sorting. That, that Maybe we'll take that. I think that's the only thing we can take. Uh, advanced, because screw this. Let's see what we got. Ten times inventory size. Three, three on that. Welding speed. You know what? I'll cut down the welding and grinding speed. Max objects. Screw you guys. I got, uh, I got a big machine. And we'll just... Oh. Can't control click there to set it. Uh, uh, it's gonna set it to 250. You know what? 254 is fine. Unlimited world size. Down for that. Uh, yeah. Respawn half a uh, view distance. Screw you guys. I can take 30 kilometers. Day duration two hours. Disable <laughs> respawn. I don't think we can have cargo ships with planets yet. That's gonna be a problem. Reset ownership. Meh. Don't need it. Permadeath? No. Start and respawn screen. Also no. Alright. World generator. Afraid to hit this button. Uh, infinite normal density. Screw you guys. Flora density. How much flora? You know what? I'm going to go with normal plants. Holy crap. I don't. Alright. I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's. Just hold on. It's gonna get a little weird. Alright. Going. Going now. It's getting crazy. It's getting funky. Um. It's pretty. We're loading. Hopefully I do not get killed by my own mining. That would be... That would be a step forward. Not gonna lie. I would not object to not dying because of my own mining. Uh, yeah. Just gonna load clearly making the world of some sort of procedural method during the live stream right before the announced release of planets some of the keen software guys were saying that uh, the planets are actually partially handed and partially partially built oh oh dear where what I, um i'm a dude Floating in space, and um, yeah, maybe this is bad. I don't know. Screw it. You know what? Inertia dampeners off. I wonder if I can free fall this thing. I don't even know. I, I'm just gonna accelerate. I can't accelerate past 115.5. <sighs> oh boy, uh, this is perhaps unwise. Oh. Oh, oh, look. 
Ah, uh, Cerberus destroy. There are a lot of things that want to kill me out here. Why? 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 What did I ever do to you guys? Seriously, there's like a Cerberus destroyer on the inside of the planet. These freaking guys are everywhere. Holy crap! All right, I think they mean for us to uh, actually start a ship. This was probably intended to be a creative start. That could be a problem. That could be a real problem. Uh, don't really. Oh God, it's a long way down, and that's a long way away, and I don't even. What? What's that? I... Hmm. Let's see if I can match vector with this. It's hard to do without any indicators. Uh, anybody that's been playing Rogue System or Kerbal Space Program knows that uh, sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge to figure out your forward vector without any assistive technology. Oh my god. Alright, I I think we're going to have to restart on a, with an easy start on the planet. Sight! Sight! We can we can work with this. We can work with this. We can work with this. Uh, the world. I want to destroy all of these. All of you get destroyed. Get wrecked. Get annihilated. Eated. That's what I want. All right now. Let's try this again. New new world. New world. Um. Custom world. Let's go with an easy start. Let's go with easy start Mars. Basic vehicles. Everybody's under imminent attack from pirates and fallen. Alright, we'll go to Earth. Fine. 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 You want Earth you wanna do this? Let's do this. Fine. Fine, it's it's now the Earth Pit. That seems like a fine description. It's survival. It's friends only. So if anybody actually notices that we're up and running, it's normal. It's not scenario edit mode. I'm going to grab my advanced inventory setting. Uh, advanced settings here. Change that. Max objects. So let me put that up to 50 or so. Uh, unlimited there, view distance, 15 is for pussies, and that's not us. Duration, two hours. Okay, right. Enable drones. Ah, uh, I wonder if I can disable drones temporarily. Maybe, maybe that's why. Let's just see how badly we get ruined. We get, we get toasted, destroyed. World generator. Yes, we got normal density. And there, there, all right. Let's try this. Now, this will probably, again, take a bit of time to generate. Boy. I just don't know. I'm uncomfortable with this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just a little... A little on the uncomfortable side. It's okay. It's okay. We're cool. We can handle it. We can handle it. <clears throat> Twiddle, 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 twiddle. Uh, if anyone ever stumbles across this video, and it could happen, in theory, it's theoretically possible, somebody could bother going through our channel, looking at video game stuff, uh, someone might stumble over this via YouTube gaming, which is a, a wonderful way to watch stuff on YouTube, specifically live streaming. Uh, in theory, someone could... Long from now, long after my eventual dissolution, and by that I mean I've turned it into a turned into a drunken sod, and no one can find a purpose for me in life. Uh, long after all these things happen, somebody could be looking at the recording, and oh, hello, welcome to the Earth Pit. Oh, SPRT rivals, and oh, I think we're all going to die horribly. Luckily, we do have some defense platforms, it looks like. Wow. Alrighty. And we have some ships. And an ore detector. We've got atmospheric ships. 
You know what we don't have? An obvious way to get the hell down from here. Oh, wait. It's a ramp. Wait, like, nope. That was not very helpful at all. Hmm. Alrighty. I'm probably gonna... Oh, 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 oh. We've got one of these things going on. Where we, uh... They've got a ore detector on an antenna. That's good. Screw you guys. I'm just gonna jump off of this. Hey, we're live! And there's a holographically projected ship. And this is a fighter, which is cool. With the new planetary thrusters. Shit, and something's here fire. What the hell is it? What is it? Oh, that's it coming to talk to us. That's not what we want in life. Well, eh, it's taking fire. Oh, 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 it's lost some bits. Go self. Go scavenge those bits. A little bit of lag. Not surprisingly, really. Not surprisingly. Okay, so what, uh, we got a sign here. I'm really just kind of excited. Uh, wheeled transport blueprint. Alright. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's neat. What I need is a mining ship, I think. Alright. Do a little sprinting here. Oh, how well this work. Alright, this is beautiful. This is the kind of environment that gives hardcore geeks like myself a bit of a boner. Bit of a boner, I'm not gonna lie. Woo! And we only have a little bit of jump. Uh, third person mode, we can just uh, go over here. I don't like that though. I don't like that. Okay, let's see. Drill ship atmosphere. I, I just want to get my hands on this. I want to get my hands on this action. All, all over it. Oh, sign. Mm, atmospheric drill ship. Use this standard issue drill ship to conduct mining operations. Be careful not to exceed total mass of 175 kilograms. 175,000 kilograms. Flight performance not guaranteed past that weight. Alright. I can I can live with that. Let's get in this thing. Oh, oh, oh! That feels pretty good. Where's there? I don't know where that camera is. Hmm. All right. Well. Ooh, handles a bit like a truck. I suppose I should not be surprised. All right, iron and nickel directly down. What happens if we angle directly down? Oh. Can. All right, let's turn these drills on. What happens? Oh crap! I turned on the drill. Ah, uh, that seemed untoward. Ah, oh, we we do have a. Oh. Ah. We are deep, deep in the heart of the facility, and it doesn't have a single damn sign. Uh, but we do have the really nice new interior, um, the interior stuff, which is very cool. I, what the hell is that? That's new. I don't know what that thing is. Hmm. These doors are awesome. They just whip around. Ooh. Ooh. All right. What we have here is a big ass outside door. What is? Oh, it's a vent. It's an air vent. Must be connected to the. Ventilation system. All right. What is this? Hangar door airlock. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh, and I could actually turn on. You know, we've got. I'll take my helmet off. Why not? Okay. Now, there is one problem here. Um. I don't have any hydrogen, and that's bad, because this thing now uses... Oh, crap. No energy. I, I don't know what... No energy... Oh, we're out of hydrogen. Like, we had enough burn for, like, five seconds there. Let's go see what happened to our... 
atmospheric ship. Because I'm really kind of t concerned. Quite concerned. Yeah, I don't really like the design of this Earth base. It seems untoward. Seems like it's got some problems. Uh, problems like it uh, doesn't isn't designed like a sensible thing. I find that problematic. Oh, is that a battery on this thing? Oh my god, I think that's a battery. Which means this will eventually run out of power. And possibly in not too long in order. Oh my god, what? Somebody's shooting already? Oh, there's another one over there. Oh my god. Well, luckily the base defenses seem to be up to it. Why is he coming here? Why is he looking at me? Why? I don't like that. It's like directly over my head. Uh, base defense is still firing? Yep, don't care. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, we broke this thing in freaking half. Oh. Oh, well, well, you know what we can do. I'll just take out that. Oh. Did. Oh my god. Really? You're gonna crash on my head? This is the sort of thing that only happens to me. This is why I don't live stream very often, guys. This is like. Oh, look! This ship crashed nearly on my head. I'll just. I'll just take these components. You'll notice, right? I mean, it's, it's pirate craft. I have to say this though, working on this stuff in an atmosphere is really neat. With a gravity field. With like a constant gravity field. It does not hurt my feelings really. And another one? Light armor slope. Wow, this armor is trashed out. What is that? That's a programmable block. That's been where its code was running. And now that's where its code is not running. Wow, this thing came down on my head. <laughs> oh, this is clearly not a this is not a world that's gonna be long for this world, I'm not gonna lie. I am kind of amused. Wow. There's a tiny little engine. What goes into the small atmospheric? Steel plate, construction components, 18 motors, metal grid, some more steel plate. You know, that's really cheap to make. Probably the best. All right, let's. All right, so um, I don't think I can get this thing back in here though. What's the big? 144 motors for the large one. Well, there. There are worse things, I guess. Let's try this thing down. Pull that right off of there. And that's one of the things I love about Space Engineer. I'm not gonna be lying to you about it. Stuff falls apart in a very reasonable way. Stuff sticks together in a very reasonable way. Big old school drill. Mostly construction components. Uh, yeah. If only we had some more hydrogen. Oh, man. Usually I play this game with uh, voice attack. It helps, you know, multiple hands sort of thing. All right, so what have we got here? Uh, nothing in the cockpit. There's no storage. Um, it's got an antenna ore detector set to broadcast. Help. It's got uh, battery. Help. Low. Oh, something is telling me that. Some, uh, oh God, this is bad. Oh, I died. Oh my God died of a power loss problem. What happens if I spawn a planetary lander? I just just want to know. Just want to, yeah, it's a temporary ship. Let's look around. Oh. Oh. Well. For one, we are well outside the atmosphere. For another, we are dropping rather precipitously. Um... What happens if I... Inertia dampeners off doesn't help at all. Alright. Well. Oh. Well, this is a hell of a thing. 
Ooh. Hmm. Do we have any uh, sort of forward, forward thrust? Uh, maybe by tilting? I'm not making any, any headway here. We're a thousand meters from the ground and it's not looking pretty. And it's dark. I'm wearing sunglasses. Oh, we are kind of bobbing. Okay, we must have hit the level at which atmospheric thrusters can kind of do its thing. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we're going to... Ah, yes, now that I've redirected thrust largely downwards. Ah. Uh, why is like a really crappy helicopter? However, space does give us more altitude. Alright. Fine. We'll do it this way. Flies well, like a very particular type of helicopter. Wow, this is really pretty. <laughs> There's no way around it. That's just freaking pretty. Just uh, do a little more lift. Alright, don't see any control stuff. We don't have, uh, we have 53 minutes of fuel time in this thing. Which is fine. Okay. Alright, so that is literally ground altitude over there. I wonder if I can, like... Turn my inertial dampeners off. I should probably just... Uh, I can slow it down. Inertial dampeners. I don't want it to go back up and out. Oh, they're dropping. I don't even know what inertial dampeners really means when it comes to uh, something like this. All right, let's see if we can. Mm. All right, I have. Kind of maintained altitude. Now let's. Oh. So now we're gonna play Lunar Lander. Let's see if we can do that. 20. We're down. We're down. Awesome. How neat is that? Now let's see if we can go up. Oh, let's unlock those. Let's turn them off. Why am I... Oh, landing gears. Unlock. Thanks. Oh, stuff tilted around. Oh, it does have a little bit of gyro. Alright, let's see if we can get altitude here. We can. Okay, this thing flies very much, very much like a helicopter. So, just kind of do this. Oh, I have been playing way too much rogue system. This is... Oh, oh crap. Oh, yeah, let's get up above the tree line, shall we? You know this is going to end poorly, right? Everybody who ever sees this knows 
This will not end well. Alright, let's really stop. Let's pull that acceleration a bit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, uh, well, we, uh, we landed. <laughs> Wow. What does it have in storage back here? That's a conveyor. The nuclear reactor has... Uh... The oxygen generator has air in it. Hydrogen. Useful. So, you know, enough stuff to build some things and some ammo. Power cells. I'm not sure hmm, what its intent is, but. I don't think there's a door either, which. Oh, 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 component storage. Cargo container holds basic tools, ammunition, enough components to build five solar panels, two batteries, and a flight seat. Hmm. Alright, I guess that would be. The start and whatever else you ripped apart this thing for. Wow, that that's a hard start to a game right there. I'm I don't lie. Oh, and this is a door. Tell it's a door. Let's get the cool side. Alright. Just cause if you haven't been following space engineers, you probably don't know about it. Watch this. Alright, see how it's shaped? Those doors are the business. Those doors are awesome. All right, let's see what happened here. Oh, yeah. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought. Hmm. Well. This, oh, and it's got an ore detector. This thing is, like, really specced. That would be a good way to start the game. One of these, I guess. Then you could sort of survey if you can, you know, pilot the thing. Huh. Well. There's only one thing left to try. What happens? Oh look, that's where we impacted. What happens when I dig? I obviously don't see any minerals around here. So, only one thing for it. The hell? Can I dig a tree? No. Can I dig the ground? Up. Oh. Pick up ice. Of course it's ice. Why wouldn't it be ice? Go over here. Let's try this. I think we might be not dying horribly. That would be... Alright. Oh, it looks like mining isn't killing us again. Oh, sweet. Um, earlier this week I tried some stuff uh, with space engineers and mining was bad. And mining was bad because it kept knocking chunks of mineral back at me and killing me immediately. It was a bad bug. But this, this is okay. Except, of course, I seem to have landed in the middle of freaking Iceland. Perhaps that was unwise of me. Uh, wow. We're gonna die of energy loss. Not too... Oh! Oh! There's some grass. That, we dig that. Why can't we do that? Oh. Stone. Alright, it's just, just some stone. Alright, I hate to do this, but... Uh-huh, obviously... Wow. Jetpack in the atmosphere not very effective. But I'm not dying from mine. Unfortunately, also can't reach the ground very well. Alright, I see that's going to be a problem. 
Well, I guess maybe if you start at the bottom of the hill, perhaps. That seems very classic. Classic survival sort of uh, situation. There's another planet on the horizon, which we could, in theory, get to if we had a, a running system. Cutting into the earth thing. This is going to be problem. Cool. Alright, so I know why they started to you off with enough material for solar cells in the lander. Because you're not going to find uranium anytime soon. It's not like you can just fly around and look for it on the surface of an asteroid. You normally do. Let's step back, see if this deformed the land. A little bit not very much all right let's try it the other way as some of you know right click will let you dig with keep doing it. dig with a little more aggression a little more thrust just trying to angle down and move up Let's take a look at that. Oh, okay. So mining is in fact possible, but jeez. Without a detector, you would be in a world of hurt. I suspect the lander has that detector on the bottom for just such emergencies. It just needs to be turned on. You need to be aware. All right, we've been uh, rambling about 30 minutes. It's just really beautiful, but all right, let's see what happens. Planets, everybody. We'll maybe do a live stream with, I don't know, may maybe the guys from TMO, if, if they feel like it, just to throw down and see the beauty of interstellar space. And by interstellar space, I mean trapped on a planet in the increasing dark with a threat of pirates and giant bugs, which also exist. Yeah. Good times. Woohoo. Ladies and gentlemen, space engineers. Now with planets. <laughs>